Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video and in this new video I'm going to make an introduction of Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. So this video is to introduce this, um, to introduce this software. Uh, it is a totally free version, OB version, maker version of Creo Element. So you have Creo Element uh, Modeling, Direct Modeling, and you can use Creo Element Direct Modeling Express just for maker, for hobbyist, totally for free. If you like my video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can also let likes on the video and I'm an online teacher. So first link on the description, the complete course is available if you want to learn more. So if you want to master Create Element Direct Modeling Exp Express, you can take a glance on the first link on the description. This is the complete course that I propose to perfectly use Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. So let's start with uh, this uh, introduction. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is um, how to start in the navigation. So when you start first, you have this type of dashboard. So automatically on the left, you have a construction tree and you can find your different parts and the different work plane that you will use. In the middle, you have your first work plane here in a 3D space. In Creo Element Direct Modeling Express, we don't have the three different axes, but automatically we can find the different type of axis. Here we have different type of tools depending of workbenches. So for example, we have a modeling workbenches, structure workbenches, features, 3D geometry, analysis, view and uh, application. The thing that you need to understand is we will use the most modelings and in modelings you have different type of tools classify in draw categorize here you have new it is a work plane categorize here it is modify the sketches with modify 2d here it is to uh, create your models with all the different options and here modify your 3d model so each time inside the modeling workbenches you have different categorize if you go and find, you can find settings and here you can have different type of options. You can also man manage toolbox at any moment. You can also click on customize and thanks to that, if you want to add any toolbar on your element like a construction toolbar, a measure toolbar, modify toolbar, if you want to add all these different toolbars, it is definitely possible. But um, all these type of toolbars that you can have, you have all these tools directly in the different workbenches. So finally, it's not extremely useful to use this because you will, you will find all these elements directly in the different workbenches. So after up to you, if you want to add a, 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 an element, you can add, but it's just an option. About the navigation, um, you can use your mouse wheel. So when you go right click, you can drag and move like this. When you click directly on the mouse wheel, you can turn around. And if you want to zoom in, zoom out, you just click on, you can just drag and move the mouse wheel and you can zoom in, zoom out. If you click on view, you can also find these different tools like, for example, you have the zoom tool and left click, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can find the rotate tools and you can turn around. But definitely you have also the flip tools to move like this. But it's not extremely convenient. I can advise you to just use your mouse wheel. So if I just come back, right click, I move. If I click on my mouse wheel, I can just turn around. And if I drag and move my, if I just move my mouse wheel, I can zoom in, zoom out. So what is the aim in this type of software? It is a CAD software and at the same time 3D modeling software. You need to create a sketch and then to create a models from this sketch. So for example, to create a sketch, I have this first work plane. I can just click here, view by current work plane to be on this view. And I can activate different uh, elements like that, like horizontal, vertical construction line, and you can directly draw something. I can, for example, create a rectangle. I have different options like a central rectangle and just create my first rectangle. If I need to enter value, I can enter value with tabulation. 
And after to create this rectangle, I can create my first extrusion. So I can just move here and use one of these tool, pull. And pull linear, it is the extrusion tools. In create direct modeling element, sometimes it's little difficult because you have a feeling you have a lot of things. And yes, at the beginning, it is little disturbed. Disturb, this can disturb you. But this is why it is important to uh, repeat, important to train, important to learn. And if I just click here on this arrow tool, I can create my first extrusion. Let's create an extrusion with, for example, 20. And here you can enter the distance if you need and you can validate just like that. So now if I want to create another type of element like a hole in the middle, I can just click here on this face. And if I want to create a sketch, I can just use one of these tools, circle tools, and automatically I have a new work plane on the left created when I want to create something on the face. And here, for example, I don't find my center, so I can create a line. It can be just a line here, and I can create a line from this point to this point. And I can create a second line from this point to this point, just like this. So now I know that I have my center, and I can use my circle tools and create a circle with maybe 16 millimeter. And then with one of these tools, like for example, delete in the trim tools, I can erase this line, this line. You have a lot of uh, advanced features to edit your sketches with different type of constraints. So now I created this circle. And if I just validate, I can use my pull tool, pull linear, and I can use click on this face. So automatically the work plane is selected. You work directly on the work plane, active work plane. When you go right click here, you can set active a part of a work plane. So by default now the work plane two is, is uh, selected. So if I go and pull angular, I can drag and move outside or inside. Let's go inside and create just this all in the middle. So you, are, you will have a lot of different features in a Creo element. So after, if you want to edit a face, I can use my move tools in modify, click on this face. If I want to drag and move in this direction, it is uh, possible. I will have the possibility to use Boolean operation. I will have the possibility to create loft, to create pipe, to create sweep, to create helix. So a lot of different features, but not easy to use in Creo Element Direct Modeling Express. It is not extremely ergonomic. Great tools, but not extremely ergonomic. It can be difficult. And uh, I can also use, for example, just go directly on um, position. I can use dynamics. And if I click on my element, I can drag and move just here. I can also use selected. And now I can drag and move in this direction, create some uh, rotation if I need. So I can click here on this one and just validate. I can change position, dynamic again, click here. And now I have this gizmo. If I want to create rotation, anything that I want, it is possible. Uh, you will have also the possibility to work little with surfaces, with 3D geometry. Here we can insert a face, call surfaces. Um, about the render, not many things about the render, but you can just use the enhance render. And thanks to that, you can have a better view for your element. But Yes, it's not here that you will create a real render. This is just a free version, obi version, maker version. You can also create an assembly directly with structure, and you can create part and you can create assembly. So it is an interesting tool. Uh, you can also create new work plane at any moment when you go on work plane, create new. You have different options. One more time, it's a little difficult at the beginning. I can create a new work plane at the world origins, and I can create a new work plane like this, position, for example, a work plane on this area, and create a rotation like maybe 90 degrees and validate. And now, because I just want, I just created this work plane, this work plane is active. You can see the difference when it is in bold, it means it is active. And if I just click on view by current work plane directly, I go on the active work plane. 
And on this area, if I select one of these two, like the circle tools, just like this, I can create a circle. For example, let's apply, uh, let's apply just like uh, 10 millimeters just here. And I created a circle directly on this work plane. If I validate one more time, I can use this tool, pull linear, and I can create an extrusion, for example, on this direction. And I can just validate, just like this. I think this tool, um, in comparison on type of CAD software, can be really difficult to, to use at the beginning. But if we really master the different elements, we can have amazing render for uh, the OB version, maker version of Creo element uh, direct modeling. And here it is a construction tree. I can deactivate this one to only have this element. I think if I come back on my view, I'm still in N and so I can deactivate to just come back here. So we are going to stop for this small introduction of Creo Element Direct Modeling Express CAD software available for free. So Creo Element Direct Modeling is the paid version. Creo Element Direct Modeling Express is the OB version, maker version that you can download on Creo. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. So you can also let like. First link on the description, the complete course is available. So if you need to train yourself, if you need to learn Creo Lehman Direct Modeling Express, it is something difficult. First link on the description, this is my complete course to master everything here. Just tutorial to introduce yourself the software, to just show you the possibility. But all the interesting parts is in the course. For the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.